Hi, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and you just purchased the Mila Compact C1 Turbo Team. How exciting, we love this model. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything that should have come with your Turbo Team, what they are, and then how to use it and assemble it. So nice. Oh, and I'm also gonna um, show you how to change your bags and your filters. So all inclusive, I'm gonna help you set up and use your vacuum cleaner. So stay tuned. Okay, so what should have been included in your box that you may or may not have unboxed yet? So your canister body, your telescoping wand, your three cleaning attachments, they may or may not be attached to this little clip, but this U-shaped clip is what holds your attachments, your hard flooring attachment, your carpeting attachment, this, believe it or not, is your handle, and your flexible hose. So why don't you take a second, unbox your vacuum if you haven't already, make sure that all of these things are accounted for. If they're not, this is the time to reach out to us. You can call us, you can live chat us on our website, or you can email us. Um, make sure all of these things are present. And now I'm gonna show you what they are, a little bit about them and how to use them. Okay, so now that we verified that you have all of the contents that you should have had in your box, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over all of them a little bit more in depth, and then I'll show you a little bit more about the features included with each one of them. First, I'm gonna start with your wand. So this is your wand, and it is a telescoping wand, and how it does that is there's a little button on the back of it. You press that button, and you can extend or retract your wand. This will be how you're gonna find the correct setting for your height, and um, how you're gonna get up into the cracks and crevices of your ceiling, get those cobwebs, and under your furniture. So we love the telescoping wands. Um, these are your three cleaning attachments that come with um, all of the Mila models. You have your dusting brush, your upholstery tool, and your crevice nozzle. And they may or not already be on this clip. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But this clip is called your Vario clip. And this is what holds your attachments in place. And I'll show you where to connect this um, when we assemble your machine. This is your handle. I know you're probably wondering what the heck is this. This is your handle. And um, you can adjust your suction when everything is um, connected. You can let out airflow. That's what this lever does. So if you have something that you want to clean in a lower suction, you don't want to have to turn, uh, bend down and turn your dial, you have an option right there to do so. This is your hard flooring attachment. It has bristles of varied lengths on the underside of it. This is really good for getting into the cracks and crevices of the any hard flooring, and it's really good on tile grout. Um, so now this tool will alleviate you needing to sweep anymore. So now you can just vacuum your hard flooring and mop. It's a really nice time saver. This is your carpeting attachment and it does have a spinning brushel. This spinning brushel will turn the entire time that this tool is attached to the bottom of your wand um, and your vacuum is on. There's no way of turning this spinning brushel off. So if your vacuum's on and this is connected, these um, bristles are gonna be spinning. You can also turn down the spinning or the um, suction that's going to this head by this little lever on the front portion of your carpeting attachment. So this just out, lets out a little bit of air. So you're wondering why, probably why you wanna know this. Um, some rugs are a little bit harder to vacuum. So some people will just leave this tool open to the desired suction level so they don't have to mess around with their suction settings on their actual um, canister body. So you'll find whatever is easiest for you and um, then just go with that. And then this is your hose. So now I'm gonna show you how to change your bags and your filters, and then we're gonna assemble this and show you how to use it. Okay, so lay down your vacuum like this. There's a little lever right here, and you're gonna pull, squeeze that and pull up. And then this is your bag clip. To remove your bag, you're going to hold this clip, and then you're just going to be pulling out this portion of the bag. This is your bag collar and this is your bag clip. So this bag clip is to stay inside the body of your canister. This holds your bag at the correct placement so that all the debris is going straight into your bag and then through the different levels of filtration for your machine before it comes out of your vacuum cleaner. 
a lot of people think that you have to just pull this entire thing out, so, um, but you don't. Um, so if you do that, most often you can reinstall this bag clip, um, but if not, if you've broken any of the components with it, don't worry, we have them. This is one of our most common replacements. Um, just give us a call or email us or live chat us on our site, we'll help you out. So your vacuum has two filters. And these two filters are included in the boxes of FJM bags, which are the, the bags that your model takes. So if you don't want to upgrade your filtration system, you just want to stick with Mila's base level filtration, which is called their air clean filtration, then you're just going to purchase the boxes of FJM bags and you will have everything that you need. So the two filters that your machine has are your air clean filter, which is in this little black housing, and you're just going to pull up and you're gonna open it, it's kind of like a little sandwich. This is your air clean filter. You're gonna change this filter every four vacuum bags or every one box, because in each box of bags, there's four bags. So when you get to the last bag in your box, change both of your filters. Your other filter that you're gonna change every four bags is inside the body of your canister. There's a little pull down grate, and this is your motor filter. You will have to cut this, this filter to the size of your machine, but this is the other filter that's included with the box of the bags. So change this one every four vacuum bags. What I do is I just leave my filters in the boxes of bags, and when I get to the last bag in my box, I change both of my filters, I change my bag, and then I throw all the um, used filters and the used bag away. It's pretty easy that way, but to each their own. Um, to install a bag, you're going to see there's little arrows on your bag and the arrows, the direction of the arrows on the bag is going to match the direction of arrows on your bag clip. So you're just going to slide your bag into the bag clip and you're going to hear a little click and then you're going to just tuck this portion of the bag in. That is normal um, for it to be a little big. It will fill to the full capacity of your canister um, body. So don't freak out that um, little overfill is, is normal. A lot of people think they got the wrong size bags, but nope, if you've got, you've got the FJM bags with the red clip, it'll match the red bag clip, you're good to go. Okay, so that was changing your bags and your filters. And next, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, install everything and set up your vacuum so you're ready to use it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna have um, your vacuum like this on the ground, um, wheel side down. Um, there's a few different um, things on the front of your vacuum that I want to show you. The cord, the one with the little cord and the circle, that's your cord winder button. That's gonna retract your cord inside the body of your canister, which is really nice, you don't have to wind the cord anymore. The other button is a circle with a line through it. That is your power button. And you're going to have to step on those buttons or you're going to have to press pretty hard. Um, a lot of people just kind of like tap it like this and it's not enough to turn it on. You're going to have to step on it and um, or press it pretty hard and give it a little bit of time. It's a slow start, so it's really easy on your motor. So once you step on it, it'll gradually get up to the, the suction level that you have on it. So just a little FYI. And then your different suction levels most all of these models will come just on minimum suction. So you're gonna wanna do most of your cleaning on max suction. The only time you're gonna be wanting to turn down the um, suction level is if you have delicate carpeting or if you're gonna be doing some specialty cleaning like drapery, blinds, things like that. But we're gonna turn our dial all the way to max suction. And then let me show you from max all the way down, um, counterclockwise, um, the different um, suction levels. So you have maximum, and that's gonna look kind of like a um, parquet floor, like if you remember those parquet floors. Then you have a area rug, that's for carpets. And then you have this weird ear symbol. That's like your ultra quiet mode. If you have pets that are really sensitive to the vacuum sounds, or if you want to vacuum while your kids are sleeping, it's a really good um, level for you to be on. It just operates at a lower decibel level. Then you have an area rug um, symbol. Then you have your upholstery. I promise that's a couch. <laughs> and then you have your minimum, which is drapery. So play around with different suction levels. I personally always vacuum on max. All of my hard flooring is done on max suction. All of my carpets, um, the only time I ever really turn down my suction level is if I'm doing drapery um, or if I'm cleaning out like drawers or something. 
Okay, so to assemble the things that are here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hose and you're gonna connect it to the body of your canister and you're gonna take the bigger um, side of your hose. So there's two little clips. I'm just gonna match it up. There's only really one way you can install it. And then that's how you're going to clip on your hose. So this is your flexible hose. Now this portion is going to attach to your handle. You're gonna have to kind of push it in there. So don't be um, afraid you're not gonna break it, but you should hear that clicking sound. So this is your handle. I did mention you are able to adjust your suction level by your handle. This will let out air, so there'll be less airflow going to your attachments or your cleaning accessories. Then you're gonna attach your telescoping wand. And again, it'll click in place. There's only one way to attach it. This button is going to be on the front portion and the telescoping button is going to be on the back. So again, that's how you telescope your wand. Now, what you can do is you can attach your cleaning accessories. So I always like to show people that you can do this. Um, your model also has a couple reservoirs. Um, you can attach it like, where is it? Here we go, right here as well. So if you wanna store your vacuum like this, it's a really good option. Um, these are your three cleaning attachments that come with your model. And this is, they're all stored on your Vario clip. And that clip will attach to the base of your hose. And then your cleaning attachments are just going to ride along with you and be within arm's reach. It's a really nice feature to have. And then you do have the option, let me show you this. So you can take one of your attachments and you can disconnect your handle. Sorry, this is at a really weird length, for, or a really weird um, angle for me. There we go. Okay, and you can attach your cleaning attachments to the base of your handle, or you can also attach your flooring accessories to the base of your handle as well. So this is a really nice option if you have stairs and you want to clean them or if you want to attach your hard flooring attachment you don't need the added length of this wand but you still need the precision cleaning it's a really nice feature to have let's connect that back make it click there we go and then here show you also have the ability to attach your flooring attachment right there as well. And how you're gonna remove your flooring attachments are there's a little button on each of your attachments. You're gonna squeeze that and you're gonna pull up on your wand. I'm gonna make a liar out of me right now. There we go, it's just an awkward angle. So that's how you're gonna um, detach your cleaning attachments. So take a few minutes now that you've watched this video Go over all of the ins and outs. Make sure you know how to change your bags and your filters, which bags that you need. You need the FJM bags with the red clip on them. The red clip will match the clip on the inside of your vacuum cleaner. See how this works on your flooring, your carpeting, and try to get a good feel of how you're gonna be using this machine. I know it's a little hard to get used to a new model, but I promise you, Mila's have the best section and the, the best power, and we love them. Um, don't be alarmed if you fill up an entire vacuum bag with your first initial clean, though. Um, I thought that the, the man who sold me my first Mila was joking. I ended up actually filling up two vacuum bags with my, my Mila, my first Mila. And um, it was amazing the suction and power that is included with these machines. I mean, they're just hands down the best um, and you'll soon discover. So if you do fill up a vacuum bag with your first initial clean, completely normal, just replace your bag, um, you take FJM bags. But if you have any other questions on how to use, assemble, anything else that I may not have mentioned in this video that you still want an answer to, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can contact us through email, the live chat feature on our website, or you can call us as well. We're always here and happy to help. So welcome to the Mila family. We're so excited and I hope you are enjoying your turbo team. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.